Welcome to What's in the Box. Today we have a Gundam Universe figure. We have the Shenlong Gundam GU20. Uh, this is non. This is not. This is an action figure. It's 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 not a model. Um, I've been collecting this line for a little while, and we're going to find out today what's in uh, the Shenlong's box. This is. Uh, probably one of the Gundams from my first exposure to Gundam, which was Gundam Wing. Uh, oddly enough, this is my <laughs> least, this was my least favorite uh, Gundam. But the uh, upgrade Ultron was uh, Ultron uh, was awesome, but um, let's see what's actually in the box. Uh, looking at the box itself, window, some nice artwork of the Chenlong Gundam. Uh, as you can see, it has the dragon arm, which was a motif for this particular Gundam. Product shots on the side. This is a GU20. It's number 20 in the Gundam Universe action figure line. Uh, I'm not going to read any of that. Extra articulation. Here's some cross sale. Um, maybe we'll be seeing these shortly. Official Bluefin product. Shenlong Gundam GU20. And on the bottom, we have more product shots. I'm sorry, more artwork, not product shots. Breaking out Mr. Pointy. And this will complete be five Gundams in the series from the wing but that is just the five starter Gundams uh, red background uh, we have a little bit of cross sale here and we have some instructions And some warnings in Japanese and English. Alright, the box is empty, so let's have a look at the plastic insert here. This is one of the more... I guess they went for a traditional Japanese coloration with it. So to me, it's kind of almost jarring. The colors have always been that way. Oops, and all, all the accessories fell out. Alright, first off... What fell out first? We have the joint to hook to the Damashi stands. We have the backpack blaster. Oops. Technical difficulties. We have the backpack blaster here. And these uh, ports do move. That's the neat part. We have two alternate hands. One for each side. One trigger hand, one fist hand. Grasping hand. And there is his... I believe that was an energy pull arm. I'll set that aside. Next out of here we have his shield. And then I think we can pull him out. So the plastic insert is empty. We can discard that. Have a look at the actual figure. The Shenlong. Turn around. We can clip the backpack blaster on there. Pose those in a pleasing way. Ooh, now that's exciting. He has the extending arm 
gimmick from the the, the show. Oh yeah. That is a feature I, I was really hoping they'd put on this. That is great. It's not too complicated. But it's uh it's pleasing that they included it. That is that's great. Well this oh that'll slip back too. those no okay there we go so it's in resting mode there we can pull his hand out here we can put his uh pull arm in and while we're at it let's clip the uh tamashi stand attachment on there Here we go. There's so much character in these. And then his buckler here. It's a very un Gundam like shield. I guess that's kind of like a. Well, these are really just throwbacks from. Not throwbacks, but. The next evolution in weird Gundams after G Gundam, but we can just have him posed uh, all regally there, regally regality. Or we can have an action pose. So, bring him in a little bit. Oop. Yeah, these have been very, very nice uh, mobility and posability. I love that they have that arm there. He's going to look great next to the. Uh, other Gundam Wing Gundams. But I'm really hoping they uh, come out the rest of them. They already had the Death Size Hell. The, uh... And two of the Gundam Zeros. Gundam Wing, rather. I'm hoping for an Epion soon, which is one of the most awesome looking figures, Gundams, in my opinion, ever. But this here is the Shenlong Gundam GU20, and that's what's in today's box. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future unboxing videos. And once more, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.